a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Consumer Quarterback Show. I am your host for the day, Alex Black Belt Lima with Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts, filling in for your consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. You know what we do here on the show? We try to hook you up with knowledge and information with some of the Bay Area's best experts when it comes to all different fields. Uh, today, we have a stellar lineup per the usual. We got Jay Smith with A Snoop Inspections. We got Ray Hall, Ray Hall Appraisals. We're going to know everything we need to know about home inspections and appraisals by the time this show is done. I promise you that. Uh, but before we do, I would like to introduce you to uh, some of the properties available by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. For those that don't know, Brandon and Lindsay have an amazing uh, team and a, a lineup. We just had Michelle the other day. She's an all-star on the team over there from the Platinum MVP team. And uh, let's check out some of the properties available by these guys. So we have first up Pebble Creek Court. This one is in Orlando. This is a huge 100-plus acre listing. This is Pebble Creek Court in Four Corners, Florida. Very interesting um part of town where this is it's called four corners because it's where these counties kind of intersect it's like this crossroads right in the middle 100 plus acres prime development opportunity it's excellent location for a short-term rental community it is just minutes away from uh, disney world universal studio sea world downtown and more it's just 10 miles away from that um, and all the life that is there, everybody knows Orlando is popping. There's a lot of traffic between uh, tourists coming through there and just the area itself has just grown tremendously. So here's your chance to get in on a 100 plus acre property where you can build an amazing development uh, for short term rental community. You can check that one out in PlatinumCoastalElite.com. We also have 7202 U.S. Highway 301 South back here home in uh, Hillsborough County, Riverview, Florida. 7202 U.S. Highway 301 South. This is a premium corner lot commercial property. It's a two building parcel. There's a uh, it's just just under 1300 square foot uh, barber shop already in there and just under 1800 square foot auto repair business. Now, the barber shop, I believe, is going to be relocating so that that uh, 1300 square feet can be revamped and redone uh, for a completely different business. You can put a maybe a training studio in there, a, a mortgage company, all kinds of things. The roof and AC system are uh, just uh, under two years old. The auto repair shop has signed a five-year uh, term, so they are still there. So that's guaranteed income for whoever purchases this property. And that's 7202 U.S. Highway 301 South. You can see all the properties available from the Platinum MVP team at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. You can also call our hotline, 727 263 3707 and that'll get you in touch with not just the real estate properties but any one of our bay area experts so speaking of experts let's bring it back here with snoop himself jay smith what's up man hey it's going great dude good to see you man i'm usually uh behind the behind the scenes here i don't often get to, to talk to you see you face to face it's been a while since i've seen a a beard that rivals yeah. mine I, I mean i've been here at least one other time and someone's was the stand-in and it wasn't you i'm trying to remember it might have been james maybe done it way back when yeah it was a while ago yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, but well. it's always been Brandon, you know how that guy is. Yeah, he Brandon, just never leaves. Yeah, dude's a workhorse, man. He doesn't <laughs> stop. He's on vacation right now, so that's why I'm filling in. Yeah, uh -huh. but it's not vacation. I'm getting texts every day about something that he's do like, this, wants do to that. and it's like, Brandon, come on, man, take take some time off, buddy. We got this. I promise it, you. It's hard to shut down. It really is. It really is when you're a go getter and an entrepreneur. That that mode just doesn't turn off. So I, I think for like guys like you know uh, yourself, Brandon, myself, you know, we're we're just we're always on the hunt. So. Mm -hmm. It, there, there will be no retirement, man. There's going to be no sitting still. Yeah, know? live ten minutes from the beach, and I don't couldn't. Well, I've seen the beach because I've done condos, but as far as going there to see the beach, other than that, no. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. And, and it's it's crazy because you know we live here in beautiful Florida, Tampa Bay, and there really is so much for us to do here. You got the beaches, wonderful restaurants right by the water. We got nice lakes. I mean, we we got it going on here, yeah. and we don't often like travel and, and get to enjoy it as much and it's know. why i live here and same thing you know, you're not out there enjoying it need to enjoy it so there you go you have a uh, words of wisdom from two two bearded men maybe we'll start our own show two bearded men well, words of wisdom you you enjoy your life live in the present now well, aren't you supposed to be growing your beard out i mean what happened oh man i'm trying to keep it you know because i do jujitsu <laughs> and stuff it's, it's hard when people are trying to choke you and your, your oh. beard's like you know starting to smother your uh -huh. own beard oh yeah, yeah. Start shoving your beard <laughs> that's it man <laughs> Uh, so for those that don't know, um, tell us a little bit about your, your background and how you got into the industry and stuff. Well, hey, I'm the owner of Ace Noop Inspection. We've been in the Tampa market here for 12 years now. Prior to that, I've worked in the construction industry. My father was a GC up in Virginia, 
And when I was very young, actually 24 years old, I, I actually went and got my GC license in Virginia. And that's what I stayed in for over 20 years and still, you know, did it for a while down here in Florida with other companies. I didn't go out and get my GC license. And to be honest with you, I just wanted to work for myself again. That's why I got my home inspections license. I've been here for 16 years now. Um, so the experience is there. I, I'm one of the few inspectors, I'd say, in the area that's actually built a house, torn them apart, rebuilt them, you know, all of those things. So I can answer you know, more of your questions than just saying, hey, go find this guy to answer this or go find that guy to answer that, that I'm just there and say, this is what's going on. This is what you're looking at. Got to do it. But even as a GC, you look at it and say, hey, you know, you're going to need the professional either in the AC or electrical or something for them to look at it specifically. Because even a GC doesn't know everything. Yeah. And you have the connections for that as well for doing this for so long. Like if someone like, hey, you know, you really would want to get this roof looked at yeah. or get this AC unit. I mean, if we up. know the roof is close to the end, hey, I can give them a roofer and get an estimate on it before you ever buy it. You know, if you got to do it in the next two years, at least it gives you a good idea. It's like, okay, we've got a $5,000 or $12,000 or whatever the expense is going to be for the near future and you can make an educated decision that's that's priceless advice right there because you, you don't often know uh, especially if you're a first-time home buyer you don't know what you're getting into you're just living the american dream i'm going to buy my first home and then you get there and then what was the uh the tom was it tom hanks right the the money pit yeah that was the one dude it, it just every single thing it yeah. just spiraled out of control and that can happen maybe not to that extent but you need to know what you're getting into oh you don't like your tub moving from the first floor or from the <laughs> second floor to the first floor real quick oh man it's so crazy <laughs> Yeah, oh, that movie's hilarious. I got to go revisit that. Um, so and and then also, so the the moniker. How do we get the the A Snoop? How do we get with the Snoop? Um, actually, my, my my last name is Smith, so I wasn't about to be Smith Inspections, and brainstormed for a while, and finally, you know, that name came up literally before I opened the company. I would sit down probably once a week for twenty minutes and just try to brainstorm and write down names, and I did that for months. Wow! And then finally, A Snoop came to mind one day. Uh, with some other people. I mean, I was always getting advice from others and it ended up being a combination of things and did it. And it probably took a couple of more months even to do the uh, logo for it. So when you started doing the inspections, uh, how, how big was the area like you initially served? And then now, because now you're you're pretty, pretty. Yeah, I mean, mostly range. it was Pasco, Hillsborough, and Pinellas at that time, you know, when I first started. But now we're all the way up to the villages and uh, over to Crystal River and down to Venice Beach. So we're, we've got a pretty wide area. It's about 10 counties that we cover currently um i've got other inspectors of course i've got uh someone that was retired out of the the uh pasco um jail system that worked in that for many years that works here i've got a guy that worked in electrical for a long time that works for the company i've got a female inspector now that is uh, i think she's dynamite that she's out there taking care of things and a retired veteran you know it was very interesting all of those people went just in my head running through that all of those people are um their personalities or at least their backgrounds have a they're like very eye for detail yeah you know an, an electrician's got to be you know he's got to know the wire work he's got to know he has to be paying attention so you don't get electrocuted well right? and, and even that gentleman his his father he followed in his father's footsteps for a while just like i did and his father's a 40-year you know uh, master electrician who's now retired so he he's done with all of it but he's still great for questions if i run into something goofy guess what I get on the phone and say, hey, you know, what do you think of this? Uh, we called him one time and we were doing a house in St. Pete and the house uh, was considered a smart house in the 50s. Okay. And it was all low voltage switches to turn on the light. So it actually went to a transformer. And uh, so we called him and said, can you work on it? Can, you know, can you get parts and switch out a transformer and all this stuff the way it was wired? Because I was worried about them having to rewire. And he goes, no, we can actually work on the system and keep it going. Really? So I was happy to find out that, and that way I could relay that over to my client and let them know, because I had never done a 50 smart house at the time. Yeah, so without <laughs> having to Frankenstein it at all, like yeah. you can still find those parts, and you can and you can like keep it running like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, your, your yeah. door switches are practically doorbells. Yeah. I mean, that's that about makes, what yeah. they were. So they're, they aren't anything complicated, and all those things are still available and still in use in some way. I mean, not necessarily in that fashion, but there's yeah. different ways to do it. Man, that's great. So, uh, what, so what classifies in the 50s as a smart house just the fact that it was run through that like yeah yeah they were just trying to do different things i mean definitely smart house is different today 
than back then. It's scary today. It's scary today. I think what what uh, is depicted as a smart house, like you're all you know, your thermostat is listening to you. Well, <laughs> you thinking know? of smart houses, it's getting a little bit harder for us to inspect sometimes. For instance, um, you know, in Florida and a lot of states don't do this. We check the sprinklers because mm-hmm. you could be in a community that. Um, if your front yard isn't perfectly green, they can find you. So you want those sprinklers like to be HOA, working. Your HOAs so and stuff. we actually pay attention to them down here. Well, you've got some of these new controls that are out there that are only done by an app. Mm. So we're we're having to call the agents and get a hold of the seller and say, okay, start zone one, start zone two, and run through the the uh, whole system so we can even see it working. Oh, so it's kind of a, it becomes a more intricate process because oh, yeah. you need a, a third party involved just to even run sprinklers. Yep. And, you know, pull equipment starting to be that way where instead of remotes or just manual systems that they're switching to smart systems that are worked on your phone. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, that's so wild. Everything is just literally from a computer that's in the palm of our hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mini computer. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well, and, and you know, camera and, and, and everything. They've just taken all this technology and, you know. Well, and that's one of the things I, I don't particularly like. I still like using a digital camera for certain things on the job instead of taking your smartphone up in the attic or even oh, okay. on the roof. Um, it's a little easier to zoom on a camera because, like the phone, you almost need two hands a lot of times to zoom it the way you want to zoom. Where with a camera, I can do it with one hand. Um, when you're, you know, in the attic and one hand is on a truss, making sure you're stable, and using the other hand with the camera. But you know, digital cameras are starting to go away because the smartphone has taken its place. They're killing it. They they can't. I mean, because the average person that's going to utilize a camera, they they get everything they need out of what's available on a phone, which they're great. The, yeah. the cameras that's on a phone is is fantastic. But professionals, though, you want something. I mean, there's no comparison. A high quality camera is like yeah. yeah, makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, I'm wanting to you know just to go over one other thing in the industry that I've seen the last couple of years because the market has been so hot in Florida. You know, a lot of people have cut out inspections. So what I'm recommending to you, if you've bought a house in the last two or three years and you didn't get an inspection when you bought it because you kind of had to take that out to get into the house, that there were so many offers on it, it still doesn't hurt to go out there and hire a good home inspector, whether it's me or another company in the area. If you want to know more about your house, a good home inspector will show you everything and probably be more in-depth now that you own it to make sure anything that, that's going to come up And that'll help you be ready to sell it. And say you've been there for three years and you want to sell, call Brandon and you you can check it out. But that way, you know, you're good to go for the next sale because they may end up requiring an inspection. Yeah. Real quick. Can you give like a more in-depth scenario of like when uh, an example of someone cutting out of not getting the inspection, just opting not to do it? Um like you said, that's that's seen, well. That for instance, there's often. some things I recommend on an old house. Let's say you've bought a 1969 home, and you're able to get in it, and it even passed four point wind. But something that wasn't talked about, it may be a good idea to have a plumber um, scope the drain lines in the house because mm-hmm. they're likely to be cast iron, and you're at that age where they could start failing. And without the inspection, you didn't really learn about them. Luckily, you know, hopefully, and luckily, you've been doing okay. That all all the drains are going okay. But it may be time to find out, especially it could come up when you go to sell in just a few years because they're getting older and older every year. And that would be unfortunate. As as we all are, (laughs) including your house. Yeah. Um, Electrical panels, you know, even the age of the electrical panel can make a difference. You know, once you hit that 50-year mark, it's it's time to start looking at revamping those and updating to a newer electrical panel. So there's no like one like a catch-all type. I mean, there's your there's your general inspection, you know, mm-hmm. your overall your overall check boxes. But then depending on the age of the home, and then just um, I guess maybe even the area where the home, if it was in like subterranean, more subterranean yeah. type, there's yeah. there's certain things specifically you're going to recommend as far as inspections. Yeah, so. whether you have moisture issues, maybe there's something that wasn't caught when you were walking through, looking at different closets. Um, anything can pop up. I mean, really, there's a lot of things on a house that can be an issue. Um, for me, little things as far as old homes, bedroom windows even opening. I mean, mm. it, it sounds simple, but we never open windows in Florida. But if you did have a fire in the house, does your bedroom window open? Can you get out easily? Yeah, yeah and then the efficiency of those windows too. Like an older window, um, you know, you're, you're, the airflow, and especially Florida, the Florida heat air conditioning if you don't have good seals on those windows man your electric bill is ridiculous right now i mean we still see those old um crank out awning style windows yeah all over the place 
And a lot of those, like maybe three or four of them close up pretty tight, yeah. but then the one in the middle doesn't quite close and you got a half inch gap there all the time. Man, I haven't seen those. I haven't thought about those in a while. The last time I think I really saw one of those is uh, when I was in the fire department or I'm sorry, when I was uh, training to become a fireman initially, we had to do an entire course on how to break into different kinds of windows. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a, there's no, people don't understand there's, there's a way you have to, I hate to say break in, but you have to make entry, forcible yeah. entry. Um, there's certain ways that you have to approach getting into those different, those typically you would just slide out and, and, you don't have to and just there, crack them with and a there's a lot of them out there yeah i mean i i just did yeah, a house yeah. the other day that unfortunately some of the bedroom windows didn't operate that they were basically locked up one of those, the old old crank out style windows but they did have some regular single hung windows that just open up like a normal window in another part of the, the bedroom so when you do find something like that and then you make your recommendation or not, you, you just you just basically inform the homeowner or buyer that you know hey this this is you know could potentially be an issue in the future um so what happens at that point after you tell them, like, well, you should probably get this fixed like ASAP or well, depending all, on the uh, degree of what's wrong? Yeah. I mean, some, let's say it was a bedroom and the windows wouldn't open. That's something I'd recommend getting to right away. It's a safety hazard. Now, yeah. if one window opened and one wouldn't, at least you had one window that's sure. open. So that makes a, a huge difference. And efficiency. I mean, most of the time when I'm talking to homeowners and they're buying these old houses, they like the old house. And they're already talking about replacing windows, which is a big expense. I mean, it's not cheap, especially when you're in uh, Pinellas County, you're required to do the impact windows or shutters over top of the window. So it's not a, an inexpensive item to update on your house. Also, Pinellas has made it essentially mandatory now. to do Halfway it. through Hillsboro. I mean, Pinellas wow. has been that way for years. Back in 2012, they changed the lines and halfway through Hillsboro County, you have to also. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, uh, let's take a quick break. I want I want to get back to that. I want to hear about some of those those mandates and stuff that people may not be aware of. Yeah. You know, so, uh, real quick, uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, more with Jay Smith, Ace Noop Inspections. Don't touch that dial. ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify, or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. To get in touch with Brandon, call seven two seven two six three thirty. Seven zero seven online at consumerqb.com. Dennis Prager here for Brandon and Lindsey Rhymes, owners of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Buying, selling, investing in real estate, their nationwide Keller Williams network makes them the best team to work with. Sellers have your property featured live on air, creating multiple offers. Buyers leverage a unique system that gets your offer accepted, never overlooked. Call or text 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550 or consumerqb.com. I want to give a special thanks to Satellite Phone Store. They just hooked me up with this beautiful satellite phone, and it's a gorgeous phone. It's a great device. It's a safety device as well. Think about it. If you're out on the boat 40, 50 miles out, maybe you're going hunting or you're going hiking in the woods somewhere, you run out of cell phone service, or who knows, maybe a possible terrorist attack. It's not like our politicians aren't entrenched in all this stuff going on overseas, all over the place, all over the world. Could be a terrorist attack. They could attack the power grid. They could attack the cell phones. Who knows what they're going to attack next? Sat sat123.com forward slash r-e-q-b sat for satellite sat123.com forward slash r-e-q-b like real estate quarterback you're listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes online at consumerqb.com Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for sticking with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host for the day, Alex Lima with Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. Filling in for your consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And before we get back to talking with uh, Jay Smith and some of the mandates that you may or may not know about in your area that you would probably want to look into so you don't get into trouble, uh, we're going to talk about some of the properties available by the Platinum MVP team. Uh, property I would like to showcase is 11722 County Road 672 back here in Riverview, Florida. Beautiful home, fully equipped. 
Uh, it's it's actually a farm. It, it encompasses just under 20 acres. It's got three bedrooms and two baths. It's a crafted open floor plan. There's an expansive warehouse, lots of storage for your farming needs. This is something, this is a very unique property because you can essentially split it between being, you know, for agriculture and doing, you know, farm and or some sort of warehouse and business. You can use it for commercial and also residential because the home is on the premises. Beautiful. You got to see the pictures. Um, I, I actually really, really like this property. If I could find something like this a little closer to me, I would definitely jump on it. All right, that's our property, 11722 County Road in Riverview, Florida. You can see all our properties available to you at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Back in house with Jay Smith, Ace Noop Inspections. Yeah. So before we uh, we cut to the break, we were talking about some mandates. That, like the thing, I didn't know that about the windows, like going, through, you know, trying to put the push for that to make them. And I understand why, because of where we live. But Well, uh, let's say you're a do-it-yourselfer. And you say, you know, I'm handy. I'm going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy windows and put in my house. Mm. Well, they sell both your regular insulated window and your impact window there. But if you decide to put a regular window in, you're really supposed to fit it for, with a shutter also. You know, or you can just put the impact glass in and buy the more expensive window. But it's a big difference. I mean, you can buy a regular window for 300 bucks and put the, the um, uh, shutters over it. But then if you get into doing it with the impact glass that same window just doubled in price mm. but um the the impact glass though has been proven to be it's it's kind of it would depending on the, it's more weather resistant it's it more is resilient and yeah. then if you do all of your windows and doors in your house of course it's an insurance discount you get the discount on the insurance too yeah so there's i mean there's pros and cons to everything obviously well it new depends win- on the situation you're in to me new windows make a huge difference in a house yeah. i mean believe it or not uh glass does wear over time it allows less light. You'd be surprised how much more light it'll come through. Or with a lot of the new windows, you've got coatings on the glass that cut down on the solar gain. So it's going to be a big difference in your bills. Yeah, and your seals as well. So that goes back to your light and your, your heat yeah. coming in and out of your home. So then your you know your electric bill and everything. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would say one of the biggest safety things that people should look up is really swimming pools. Okay. I mean, swimming pools are such a big deal that things have changed through the years on We've modified codes from, you know, when they were being built in the 80s all the way to now. Little things like where your handle is for the screen doors have to be higher than they were in, say, 1982. Mm. Um, The device has even gone out of the house putting uh, alarms on your doors so that if one of your own kids, not someone sneaking into the yard going to the pool, but your own kids trying to sneak out to the pool and go for a swim or even go out and play that that alarm goes off on the door so you know what's going on so, so when things like that are revamped it's typically because of a case study like we're finding hey unfortunately mm-hmm. there was there was drownings or, and whatnot just yep. the, any hazards that are found and so they, they do unfortunately it takes something negative to happen before they make a change instead of being proactive and, and of course florida is high on the list yeah with that kind of thing but we've got more pools than anybody too That's i mean why. we've got a large population it's going to be hard not to be number one two or three of course yeah. i mean I, I don't i don't know if it can even be done yeah. so i doubt in the Alaska, the numbers are half as you know, half as <laughs> what we have, or even a quarter, even so. exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, We've got a bit about a minute left to go, man. Any final thoughts? And uh, please let people know how they can get in, get in touch with you. Well, I said if you've bought a house in the last uh, three years and you didn't have an inspection when you bought it. And you want more information on your house? Give an inspector a call. Whether it's us or another one in the area, just go out there and and learn more about your home. And the only other advice I would give is keep documentation. I mean, if you have a project done, addition, roof, keep the permits around because they're going to be important for insurances and and really keeping track of the property. Try to keep that that work around. Municipalities make mistakes sometimes, and we look up and find out that the roof wasn't finalized. But if you've got the permit and it was signed off on, you can take that down to the county and it's all done. And it's an easy headache that's taken care of quickly. Yeah, at least you're not in trouble, yep. for sure. But uh, we cover the area from Crystal River Villages all the way down to Venice Beach. Give a Snoop Inspection a call, 813-345-2600. Nice, man. Awesome. Jay, it's a pleasure having you in studio. It's a great talking great with you, Great being buddy. here. Uh, I'm educated. I know our, 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 well, I am now anyways. I wouldn't say <laughs> fully educated, but uh, I've learned a lot today, and I'm sure our listeners have as well. So thank you, man. Cool. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. We got Ray Hall. Ray Hall appraisals coming up next here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Don't touch that dial. www.consumerqb.com. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. 